Inside a giant freezer on a U.S. military base, these scientists are building a living library of the planet's biodiversity. And one example, a, more, a macroorganism. So this would be a marine macroorganism. This is a starfish. The National Cancer Institute's Natural Products Repository is made up of plants, marine organisms and microbes from every corner of the world. The institute says approximately 30 percent of all approved drugs worldwide are derived from natural products. For cancer, it's actually closer to 50 percent. So a lot of the drugs that help patients currently in the clinic are derived from nature. And so the National Cancer Institute is, considers it an important part of what they do to encourage people to research additional compounds from natural sources that might be useful for cancer research. After being collected in the field, the extracts are ground up into tiny fractions weighing just a few milligrams. There are more than 230,000 samples in this collection, and this is the final stage. These robots are getting them ready to be studied by scientists all over the world. Instead of having to source their own extracts from countries like Brazil or Japan, scientists can get what they need direct from the repository. And according to Dr. O'Keefe, science has barely scraped the surface in terms of harnessing the potential of the natural world. That makes the rapid loss of biodiverse regions like Australia's coral reefs even more damaging. We're losing a lot of that capacity and that biodiversity, which is the key to finding new chemistry and new molecules that can help against these diseases. Tom Newmark is the co-founder of The Carbon Underground, a non-profit organization that promotes healthy soil as a tool to fight climate change. As our planet's biodiversity crumbles, he says there's even more at stake than the loss of scientific progress. So yes, we, we, will, we will sacrifice some drugs that, that could be derived from nature, but the loss of nature itself the impoverishment of Mother Nature, the diminution of beauty in our environment, that's a, that's a very frightening prospect. Giles Gibson, CGTN, Washington.